Are you familiar with the CIE 1931 color space? Uh, basically, it established a correlation between color and the way we perceive color. Uh, for example, this board is red and it's always going to be this red. Nothing's going to change. But depending on whether I'm looking at it under incandescent lighting or fluorescent lighting or LED lighting, I'm going to perceive it differently. What the CIE color space does is it combines that, the temperature of the ambient light, to give you a more accurate view of what the human eye is going to see. And we've got a board, the Tri-Stimulus Color Sensor, that actually does that. So what the sensor is going to do is it's going to read that color plus the ambient light, combine them to give us a CIE X and CIE Y values, and we can map that on the color space. Here, I'll show you. Let's say I have a green light. I hold this over the sensor, and let's see, it looks like it's giving us about a 0.34 or 0.46. So if we go over here, 0.34, be about here, 0.46, right up here in green. Very cool. Okay, what about, what have we got here, a lavender? Maybe a lavender, let's call it lavender. Well, let's see what this says. At a 0.18, nope, 0.31 and a 0.14. So 0.31 is right here, 0.14, it looks lavender to me. And oh, what about red? It says red, 0 0.71, 0 0.29, 0 0.68, 0 0.29. So let's see, 0 0.68 is right about here, 0 0.29, right about here. That looks red to me. So this is our new tri-stimulus color sensor. We've got it in our regular one-by-one one footprint or the micro footprint. Check them out over on our website.